Happy Merry Christmas! Christmas. From everyone. <laughs> Was that on purpose? Are you just not concentrating? You got the first bit right. Oh my goodness. I'm not doing it again. Do we know this person? Oh dear. Okay, well let's start with crying now. Okay. Some people are easily pleased, aren't they? Day eight. 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 Is it really? It's down the bottom there. <coughs> oh no. Oh yes. She's got the treaded lady. No cold. Oh god, don't say things like that. It, like specify. I know, I know, it's got Ooh. cold. Oh. That looks like a truffle. Yes. You can't get at it though. I can now. But it's a round ball, I don't need to focus on that, do I? <laughs> Mousse au chocolat. Oh, I think you're gonna like this one. Mm. I know. Make you feel better. Mmm. Anything to make me feel better. Poor old oh. dad. Yeah, I don't want to. No. I haven't had a cold for two years. No. Breathe in the other direction. No, right. Breathe in the other direction. Yeah, where did you find that one and can you please give it back? I have no idea. I was trying to think where is it? Mm. No one at Book Club had one. Mmm. It's really nice. Tier one or tier two? I was um, wondering. No, it's tier two, but it's still really nice. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I mean, the tier two ones have been well received. I am enjoying it. This is good. Mm. <laughs> Subdued papa Thank this you. morning. <sighs> We've just given up with mums. It's just going to remain open. Um, eight. Where is eight? Hey. There. Well done. Oh, it's a big one. Oh. No. Oh, that's many truffles. Green. What does it say? Uh, pink champagne, bubbles and baubles. Pop open a pre-Christmas celebration. Got a six today. <laughs> Do each. Oh, you're right. Yeah. There, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, pink champagne truffles. Wow. Well, that's so, a bit um, special. I'll do it like, well, actually. Can you fight your way into the packet, or would you like some help? <laughs> Let's have them in a little while. That's not what this is about. No, all right. Okay, Maybe. I will fight my way in okay. while you... Because um... we can have a little while. There's two each today, so we can have one later and one... Is that one big chocolate? Yes. No. Six champagne truffles. You, well, oh. Two for right. you. Right. Yes. There you go. Thank you very much. Well, pink champagne truffles as well. Mm. Again, cheers. You're not even sure. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Dad is right. His first day was one of these. Mmm. Oh my. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They might accidentally go missing now. <laughs> Day eight for me. It's a chunky one. Mm -hmm. This is so good. Oh, mixture today. Oh wow. Oh, that's nice. Mmm. Okay. So we have. Let's see if it's gonna focus. Hello. We've got some. What I think is stretch. Oh no, it might not be stretch elastic. A little pretty doodad, and then some pico elastic for making knickers in a peachy colour with the blue ribbon, which I, I do like because you can make the little ribbons that you used to get on underwear with this oh, as yes, well. Oh yes, 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 very yes, cleverly thought out. Yes. yes. So I will show you this in close up when it's not trying to focus on my face, but mm, that champagne truffle, yeah. <laughs> that was good, that was good. But yeah, it's not it's not Christmas if you don't start your day with chocolate, Mum. No, you, you can't, right. you can't you, that's the point, you are right. calendar. Just because it's so big, that's, the, that's why she's my like. Teeth. That's why I was a bit delaying, but. Mm. It overcame the... Yes, same here. That was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I need to go and finish some shoulder dragons. I got the turquoise and pink one done, but the green one needs its belly and its legs turning through. And then I can't do any more. Oh, no, I can make tail spikes. But once that's done, I can't do any more until the filling arrives, which should be here tomorrow or the day after. 
but I'm loving how they've come out. They lots. Of, I put the I, I put a picture up in the peeps group just saying I think I'm making monstrosities, and then needed to say no, I like the monstrosities. <laughs> um, but yeah, lots of people saying they look like things from Labyrinth, which they totally do. So oh, right. yes, I might add horns to the green one, but I think they're supposed to be salamanders, and salamanders don't have horns, so I might not. But we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, heading down to the sewing room now. Okay, so let's have a look at what we've got in here. Looked a bit closer of a look. So yeah, pretty blue ribbon. And then there's another whole bunch of, oh no, wrong one. There we go. There's a little hair tie elastics. So we have a peachy 3D floral thing. Those of you guys are suggesting I make these into brooches, which is a great idea, but I don't really wear brooches. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to perhaps embellish a corset with them because I would like to get into corset making and it would obviously be a corset that would not be worn underneath things. It would be a corset top as it were. So yeah, I think that's maybe what I'm gonna do with them. We'll see how many I get and what they look like together. Some peachy Pico elastic. And then we have some very pretty lace. Oh, it's butterflies. Oh, that's lovely. Beautiful butterfly lace. That's really lovely. It's got some like mechanical stretch, but I don't think it's a stre it's not a stretchy lace, but that is very pretty. And again, I will try and make some kind of like matching underwear from that. So yeah, that's a a really lovely day. Right, my little green, my little green doodad. It kind of looks like I've skinned it, doesn't it? He needs his legs turned through and his belly attaching and then his entirety of himself turning through. So I'm gonna do that next. Wish me luck. They are certainly not easy to turn through, but we have a little pink and green doodad. Yeah, the uh, fur and corduroy might not have been the best idea because they do kind of stick to each other, but you know what? We're dealing, this is what we're dealing with, so it'll be fine. So again, I don't have the stuffing to finish these off, and that should be arriving in the next couple of days. So I'm going to make their tail spikes now and then we can put these aside until the stuffing is here. But I think they look really cute. Very pleased with these. Right, tail spikes. Okay, so both my monstrosities now have bodies and tail spikes. They are, I mean, I, I it, yeah, <laughs> there are no words. Uh, they're just very pink and fluffy. It's so cute and fluffy. So yes, my PO box has finally come through. It's actually going to be active from the 10th of December, not the 9th, as they said. I have listed the address in the description down below. It is Kittenish Behaviour Designs Limited, PO Box 142, Shanklin, PO 36 6ED, but that is all listed in the description down below and it will be in every video going forward from today. And again, it's for letters and cards. I know you guys are very generous and love to send us presents and we do really appreciate them, but we also have no room for anything new. <laughs> I have I have room for letters and cards. They're going in my leaf arch files that I keep up there. But yeah, there's definitely not room for things. And we are all trying to watch our waistlines as well. So as lovely as chocolate is, please don't tempt us. <laughs> but yeah, the PO box is for letters and cards. So th thank you very much for everyone that was asking. I know there's a whole bunch of you that wanted to send us Christmas cards. So that's where to send the Christmas cards to. So thank you. I also have, excitingly, some more Patreon peeps to say hi to. So the very lovely Julie sent me a coffee thank you very much julie you were missed at the hangout but thank you for the coffee that was very much appreciated nina boons has joined the patreon peeps welcome nina and thank you and debbie has joined the patreon peeps as well so welcome and thank you debbie i also need to say a massive thank you to, to, 
blah, blah, blah. words are hard. I need to say a massive thank you to Nimue. I was mentioning some scuba I saw on the Fabric Styles website because I've been wearing my scuba dresses now that they're available. Whenever possible I always link the fabric in the description if it's still available and with a lot of the times a lot of my scuba dresses it is. And I happened to be on there and I saw this print and fell in love and then was just like I don't need it. I've got like over 14 scuba dresses, do not need it. I've got three sets of scuba up there to make more scuba dresses. I was showing you guys during the hangout and Nimue very kindly bought me a gift voucher for Fabric Stars so I could treat myself to it for Christmas. So thank you Nimue, that was very very kind of you. And uh, as soon as it arrives I'm going to cut it up and make my dress. So thank you. I've also spent the early part of this afternoon, because it's 20 past 3, early part of this afternoon making Dad's birthday present. It's his birthday on Thursday, right Mum? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Thursday. Thought it was tomorrow, but it's not because we're a day ahead yes. on advent calendars. So I was suddenly like, oh my gosh, it's Dad's birthday tomorrow. But no, it's, it's Dad's birthday on Thursday. But I have his present sorted and I won't show you yet because he does sometimes watch the videos. So I, um, Dad, you'll have to wait for the actual day of your birthday to see what it is, but he's going to be 70. So yes, I've done him something and he wants experiences and it's definitely going to be one of those. <laughs> Yeah, I've now got nothing left to procrastinate on. I'm going to have to work on the beach pyjamas. I don't know why I keep putting them off. Oh, I did hem my trousers the other day as well. And mum ended up wearing her jacket to get down here because it is absolutely peeing it down with rain all day today. It's not nice out there. I don't know why I'm procrastinating my beach pyjamas. I do want to wear them on Christmas Day. They are easy to make. It's not going to take me very long. But I've been putting them off. So I've got no, no excuses anymore. I've got nothing else to do. So beach pyjama time it is. I have so procrastinated or procrastinated or procrastinated Pro as much as I can. I know the right one. We were coming up with um, alternatives, mum's correcting me. We were coming up with alternatives for what you do when you, 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 you know you've got to make something but you're like oh I've got all these other things that I could do as well. I've run out of other things so I'm working on my beach pyjamas. And I'm, I don't know what it is about my, my mental block with these ones, but I will really enjoy wearing them once they are done. So I'm just going to get on and do them. I'm doing the ties now, then I'm going to do the buttonhole, then the darts, and then sewing them together. And I'm going to do it on a time lapse. So I hope you guys enjoy. It's going to be some festive music and sewing goodness, hopefully. <laughs>
Dimitri's dying. That's better. So I have my beach pajamas finished, except for hemming. But it is eight o'clock and my tummy is telling me that I need to eat something. I do have black underwear on, um, which I won't wear with this fabric in real life. But that's what I've been wearing today, so that's what I'm going to show you. Let me tip you down a little bit. Uh, yeah, I mean, you've seen these before. I really like them. I need to just give this little area here a press so that hopefully that'll sit a little bit flatter. But yeah, they've got the ties at the back which means that they're adjustable. So, and I've had a large Christmas dinner. I can loosen things a little bit. They're very comfortable. They're just light and floaty. No kind of, whilst they are cinched at the waist, they don't have to be like really tightly cinched at the waist. Yeah, I'm really pleased with them. And I'm glad that I finally, finally got around to actually sewing them. So yeah, very pleased with these indeed. I went for a kind of like, uh, it's, it, mm, kind of goldy green it does pick up some of the nice tones from here i did think about cutting some bias binding from the khaki green or military green viscose crepe that i've got but i decided that i was going to use the one that i already had in stock the store that you know the the one that i got from ebay in stock because i like the shine that it, it brings with it it is a little bit stiffer but again i don't mind that i think it helps maybe support the kind of like bias on the neckline very very happy with this quite glad that i finally made it so now i need to trace out wilson's hoodie and get the fabric ordered for that then i can start working on the sew along dress sew along top perhaps a cap I would like to get that done. We'll see what else I want to get up, up to. I have 12 days more of sewing before I have to start editing and filming all of the stuff for the end of the year. So yeah, 12 more days. Gosh, the possibilities are endless. <laughs> anyway, like I say, I am hungry. So I'm going to go back up to the main house, get myself some dinner, get this edited, and perhaps maybe if I have time, watch another episode of Lost in Space. I'm allowing myself one an evening, but I have worked a little bit longer today than I intended to so yes and then I'll come back down tomorrow hem these and put the sewing machine away and get on with some cutting out and tracing so I hope you've enjoyed our day it's been absolutely miserable outside but it's been very nice and toasty in here I cranked the heating up and it's currently 25 degrees so I'm really not looking forward to the little run that I've got between the here and the house to get home it's going to be chilly but never mind never mind it'll be fine so yes I'm gonna say good night to you guys and I will see you all tomorrow Bye. Thank you.